Ever seen how Tesla tried to make a really tricky left turn? Well, get ready, because in this video we are putting full self-driving to the test. We'll see how FSD's hardware 3 vehicle handles the pressure with some intense last-minute decision-making. Will it navigate smoothly, or will things get a little scary? And hold your breath as we venture onto super narrow roads where FSD has a history of struggling, but also a few surprising success. Can the car squeeze through these tiny spaces? Let's find out. Hey everyone, we are back with another full self-driving videos version 12.5.4.2 in New York Hardware 3 vehicle. And there are construction going on in front of us, as you guys can see. So we are going to see how the car handles this construction area because we are going to make a right turn but one of the lane from our left side is blocked so we need to go straight and make this right turn and the car did it perfectly but because there are like no vehicle coming from the left side so the car didn't have to face any hard you know situation but the car make it looks easy right guys and also you can see that it just adjusted its position by going a little forward very good so we're gonna test few things in this video we are gonna test a narrow road where the car always fail to navigate because of the narrow road it cannot calculate the space between left and right and it just keeps talking over there in this video we are also gonna taste a navigation issue where the car just missed that lane and goes to a different route which is definitely a problem because it will definitely increase the destination time also in this video we're gonna test some unprotected left turn yes this is a tricky unprotected left turn where the car sometimes got it and sometimes again fail so let's do it guys also to follow our navigation we need to stay in this left lane because when the stop sign will appear we need to change another lane and move to the left lane to merge on this upcoming stop sign but you will notice something different right now if you see that there is that cutout so that we can move to the left lane but our car will decide at the very last moment to change the lane and stop in this stop sign remember in this exact road our car almost blew that stop sign and almost hit a school bus so this is the exact road what i'm talking about and i didn't like the idea where the car takes a decision at the very last moment let me know in the comment does your car fsd also do these kind of things where the car makes decision at the very last moment because i really want to know because i feel like hardware 3 vehicle is having hard time navigating and now we are gonna test that that uh, narrow road situation where the car gets stuck so let's do it guys so i just changed the navigation the car is hesitating a little bit to go forward but it is going forward now so i didn't have to press that acceleration so the car is going as you can see and it is going a little fast and hopefully this time the car will have no problem to navigating us through this road and it is going very confidently today like very confident very nice like it make that left turn look very easy because few other time like so many times it just gets stuck and couldn't calculate the space between left and right but this time it seems like it handled it so smoothly very good job so we're gonna test that narrow road one more time guys i just want to see how the car handles the same narrow road for the second time so let's do it guys narrow road test number two as you guys can see the car is proceeding and we are going and gonna make a left turn on this upcoming road and the car is proceeding very good job as you can see there is a hesitation this time but this time okay you have definitely a space you can go trust me on that you rotate your steering wheel all the way left side and you can just proceed so the car is calculating the space between in front of us and also our left side it is going very slowly i can feel it and you can see i didn't press that acceleration if you see my fit my fit is 
uh, not in that acceleration pedal, but the car is navigating. It is calculating still, still very good. It moved a little bit and now again it's stuck. It is trying, trust me on that, it is trying. So what should I do? Should I take over or should I just wait? Because it was trying, I'm telling you guys. Also guys, if you guys are new in this channel and watching this content for the first time, please hit that subscribe button because that will be amazing to support a creator like me. Please hit that subscribe button. It is rotating the steering wheel to the right side now. Okay, it just press it. It just press it. Because there was a car coming from this road and our car just press it. Like, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go, whatever. This is what I felt like there was a car coming from that road and our car just proceed right away. So very interesting guys, very interesting. So I'm like, I'm just very confused because that car was coming from that uh, lane from behind us and it could see that there is a car coming and it just proceed. I'm like, wow, that is great. So we're going to make a right turn here. And the car is hesitating to make this right turn. Probably it was thinking about the bike, what it's gonna do. So it just waited for that bike and then decided to go. Very good, not, not a problem at all. But right now, we are gonna test that unprotected left turn where the car always, or a few times, definitely makes mistakes. So let's do it, guys. This is the moment, guys. Unprotected left in New York Carter 3 vehicle version 12.5.4.2. As you can see, the sun is directly hitting in the cameras. So hopefully the car will able to see in front of us and we can make this unprotected left. We're gonna stop on this stop sign and then we have to creep to look on our left side. If there is no other vehicle, we're gonna go straight and... Oh my goodness, no. You shouldn't make that right turn immediately. You should just go, you know, you should just go. And there are vehicle on our um, back. So I'm just going to take over. This is a fail because you shouldn't go and make that right turn immediately because what you should do is go straight and make a U-turn there. But you just completely miss that turn. You just immediately make that right turn and there are not that much of a space that you can change a three lane and make that U-turn. So, you know, this is a fail. We're going to do one more time. Let's do it, guys. Unprotected left number two, hardware three vehicle version 12.5.4.2 in New York. And the sun is blasting in the camera. Trust me on that. Even I can't see anything. So let's find out how the car handles this unprotected left. So for this, we're going to stop on this stop sign. We're going to creep and look on our left side. If there is no other vehicle, we're going to go straight and make a right turn and then make a left U-turn. So it is going this time, I guess. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh my goodness, almost did it. And there is a vehicle on our left side. That's why probably the car gets confused. But there are no other vehicle on our uh, backside. So the car makes that U-turn and make it happen. So it just missed one block and went to that next block to make this U-turn. Not a problem, but I would definitely prefer the ca car makes a U-turn from the first block. So let's do it one more time, guys. Unprotected left number three in New York Hardware 3 vehicle version 12.5.4.2. And let's find out how the car handles this sun glare. And there is a stop sign in front of us, so we need to stop and creep to look on our left side. We're going to find out how the car handles this unprotected left. And there are red lights in the left side, so we can definitely go. Yes, this time it will pass probably. Okay, it was try it was hesitating a little bit, definitely. And now you can make this U-turn. Very good job. And uh, the third time the car did everything perfectly, definitely had some um you know hesitation but the car did it and make that u-turn looks easy the u-turn is definitely a little slow but it's still the car did it without any problem so guys i'm just gonna end the video here hopefully you guys got some idea how the car handles unprotected left turn narrow rows and stuff like that 
so don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'm patiently waiting for version 13 in my car and hopefully when it rolls out i'm gonna make some more videos and thank you for watching guys please don't forget to hit that subscribe button i love you so much and have a wonderful wonderful day